group of islands in the Pacific Ocean is suing the United States and eight other nuclear nations. Its claim, these governments, including the United States, broke international law when they failed to disarm their nuclear weapons based on a treaty from more than four decades ago. Here in my bat is the, the country of the Marshall Islands, right here. There's not a lot of reference points, really. Uh, if you go this way, this is Hawaii over here somewhere, Midway Islands. Over here uh, is Guam. So it's just sort of out there, and the, there it is, Marshall Islands, Pacific Ocean. You can see their remote area. And the United States conducted 67 tests there over more than a decade after World War II. Officials say one blast in 1954 at one blast was a thousand times stronger than the atom bomb that devastated Hiroshima. People living on the island say that they suffered serious health and environmental problems ever since. Now the lawsuit states that all nine countries, including the United States, have violated the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty of 1968. The Marshall Islands government claims those other nations have not taken steps to disarm, and instead they're modernizing their nuclear arsenals. Trace Gallagher is with us, and he's live from, West Co from our West Coast News Hub this afternoon. W what more, of, in the way of details, do we have on this federal lawsuit? Well, we know, Shep, that it's filed against President Obama, as well as the Departments of Defense and the Department of Energy, and basically it's accusing the United States of not even trying to disarm its nuclear weapons, and it's now requesting that the Supreme Court require the U.S. government to comply with the 1968 treaty that you mentioned. The lawsuit also says if the U.S. does not believe that that treaty is binding, that it should publicly come out and say so. The U.S. has long said that its goal is to disarm, but it needs other countries to cooperate. An international lawyer tells me that this suit is not baseless, but it does not stand a high chance of success. Shep. What do they want? Do they want money? or They don't want money. They don't want any compensation at all. What the Marshall Islands basically wants is two things. They want these nine countries involved to at least agree that the International Justice Court at The Hague is the proper venue to hear this lawsuit. And number two, they want to know exactly where these nine countries stand right now on disarming nuclear weapons. The international law firm that's handling this suit says they want these answers in one year, but they are in it for the long haul. Listen. People tend to underestimate the Davids and overestimate the Goliaths. So uh, are they small in comparison? Absolutely. Uh, should they be dismissed because they are small? Absolutely not. And I think it's worth noting that this really is the first lawsuit of its kind. Shep. All right, Trace Gallagher live with us. Trace, thanks. We've got some breaking